Hello everyone. In this presentation, we will learn user security in data management. Open data management from workspace. Click setup tab and click security settings. And you see role security and location security. Click on location security. And it asks security by location is disabled. Would you like to enable the feature? Click OK. Click location security and you can click on the add symbol here you can enter prefix as fdm ee and suppose this group is required to load the data you can say data this fdm ee prefix will identify or distinguish the groups from the shared services groups so once this group is saved as fdm ee location data then we click on maintain user group it says user groups and roles successfully created for all locations that is nothing but all entities. We have three entity locations in data management now. So three groups must have created in shared services. Open shared services console. Click groups and search. So we have three new groups created. These three new groups are for three entities and these are FDM EE groups. Let's go back to data management and click security settings, location security and select the group that we have created. Under that there are roles. Create integration role. This user will be able to create new locations and set up trial balance format and run integration. If we select run integration then this user or the users under this group will be able to only run the data integrations meaning they can only import export and validate let's log in with a user and see what kind of access this user has so we need to assign a user to this particular group fdm ee location data let's go back to shared services if i am a user or if i am a controller of entity 2100 then i should be part of this group click on this group and say properties let us say the username is hfm user let me select hfm user 1 and click ok i have opened workspace and logged in with hfm user 1 click administrator now i am able to see data management and as a user i won't be able to see setup tab i will be able to see only workflow tab let me click on data load workbench. I have access to entity 2100. Let me click on this and select this. Now I can see only E2100. I can't see any other location. Now I will add entity 2101 to this HFM user 1. Right click on this and properties. Click on user members and select this. Click OK. Now log out and log in for HFM user 1 and click on the location. Now you will be able to see two locations for this particular user. This way we can control location access in FDM EE from shared services and FDM EE. With HFM user 1 login, I will try to load data for January month for E2100 into HFM. Let us select the file, click OK. Import validate or successful. Let us click on export to load the data into HFM and it's in replace mode. So the export fish is gray now. Let us see the log file. Click process details and check the log file here and it says error no write access for period January. HFM user 1 will send this log file to administrator. Now admin user logs into PSS console application and see the process control. It says published. Because it's already published, users will not have access to export the data. If there is any reason for controller to load the data again, administrator has to reject this. Then it will go back to one step and it says submitted. Let's reject one more time and it's a review level one. If you remember, HFM user 1 has review level 1 access. Let's log in with HFM user 1 and see if this user is able to upload again. Log out and log in and go to the 
data load workbench and click export again and it is successful this time thank you for watching we'll see you in next sessions